Hey everybody, happy weekend. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can use your five senses and your spell work to make it, you know, more powerful. Create a deeper connection, basically, with your spellcraft by using your five senses. Your five senses, of course, are your sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. Um, now, in spell work, we use our will to manifest a outcome or a desire. And it helps us to create or shape our reality, you know, by do, doing visualizations. Let's see. Um, so, our five senses connect us to our spell work in intense ways. All of the five senses are unique in their own way. And neither one is better than the other. Basically, it just depends on how each individual connects to it. Um, for me, I connect well with sight, which, you know, can also be considered visualization. Um, that's that's what I like to work with the most out of my five senses. But this is going to talk about how you can use all the five senses together in order to really manifest um, your desire while you're doing your spell work. Um, so you can use all your five, sense, five senses to create a complete representation of the desired result. So by sight, visualization. Um, you are able to visualize the result and bring it closer to reality. Um, the more real that you make it and the more real that you see it in your mind's eye and your visualization, the more real it's going to become. Okay, the next one is smell. Now that could be um, anything, any perfumes, oils, incense, herbs that you can carry around with you. Uh, I, for instance, I actually have some with me right now. Um, I have some lavender in my locket. So you can do that. Mm, it smells so good and it's strong, but you know that's one way that you can carry the scent with you. Is by having an herb in a locket and just carry it in around you know carrying it with you and whenever um, you know you want to have a boost or you know connect you to that spellcraft you can just smell it and it'll instantly you know connect you to that spell work that you were doing <clears throat> I have to excuse me my voice is going out for some reason um, so basically you can do anything you want you can make little satchel bags carry it in your purse pocket um, even just perfume you know you can carry perfume with you maybe it's a special blend that you made at home or one that you you know are really connected to um, it might even be one of the name brand, name brand products um, one I like that's very um, very amazing in scent is um, Estee Lauder Sensuous it's like a sandalwood musky kind of mm, like patchouli it smells so good um, and there's a few different other versions of it but the regular one um, that's my favorite and so I'll I'll spray that because sandalwood is real calming and has its own personal properties you know with each individual you connect with different scents your own way um, so basically it's up to you on what scent works for you and what you decide to use in your spellcraft to you know connect you know all these together during your spellcraft taste um, so smell and taste are kind of similar because um, you know you smell it and then you can almost taste what you smell you know what I mean <laughs> um, but tasting, you know, you can use any kind of foods to represent something in your spell spell work. Um, you know, like apples, you know, are good for like um, fertility and growth and renewal. Let's see. Um, I have something else here. Taste will become associated with the spell itself. Each time you taste it, you refresh the intention. So food comforts us and can lift our spirits from you know when we may be in a bad mood. So food can be associated with the taste when you're doing your spellcraft. Um, another thing is touch. That can be used to give texture and depth to it. So some people may like to use like a rock or crystal um, that they can hold, physically hold and touch to help you know manifest that desire and put your intention into the rock or the crystal that you're holding. Let's see. Um, it creates a sense of realism which creates in our mind that it's real and it's touchable. Um, use it as a focus point and use something that reminds you of the desired result so you you know whatever you choose that you want you know like if you're gonna do a spell for money you may choose a crystal that for you has the properties and the correspondence for you know growth in money um, you know that's just an example but so that's that's what you could do with touch you know find a representation any type of object you know even like say the slider you know it's fire so you know if you're trying to create if you're trying to you know 
boost some sort of confidence or power in your life, you may use a fire or a lighter or something to represent that power and that strength that you hope to accomplish, you know, from this desired spell work. The fifth one is sound. So that is our sense of hearing. It has power over us. We just don't realize how much because we hear, you know, you can hear things and not even realize that, you know, if you're not focusing or listening, you may miss something that's important. Um, so we just don't realize how much, how much power that um, sound can really be. Certain music can be soothing or energizing. So you may want to have, um, you know, maybe drum beats playing or your favorite uh, meditation music, some of that healing therapy music, uh, the Buddha lounge, something like that. Or it may, um, if you're trying to boost some type of power, you may use some sort of rock song or, um, you know, anything like that that help boost it up. Um, let's see. This effect can be used in spell work for our emotions and it represents our goal and intention. It makes a certain sound or musical instrument part of your spell work. This results in allowing you to hear in which you can interact and create the energies that you desire, you know, through sound. So take the steps to bring all five senses into your spell work, um, to create a deeper sense of the goal and to manifest it into your reality. When we imagine our results in detail using all our five senses, it becomes clearer to manifest. And that's because um, you're really connected to and creating exactly what you desire because you are putting all five of your senses into this spell work. So it's so you are putting everything you've got into this. So you are really using all of your energy, every bit of energy around you and within you to manifest and create that desired result. And naturally, that's going to make it more powerful too because you are spending so much detail and time into creating this spell craft your your workings exactly the way you want it to be in detail through your five senses so basically that's that's what I have here oops I'm sorry this is I got I confused myself because I went into something else I was writing about something else and <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so you see how simple it can be. Just use your five senses when creating a spell work or your spell craft. Um, well, <laughs> I guess that's about it. I, I thought I had an ending conclusion here, but I didn't. Um, but, yeah. Um, I just, I hope this can help someone. Um, this seems to be like it could be beneficial for some people. Some people maybe not. Um, it, you don't have to do it this way naturally it's just whatever calls for you um, but using all these five senses can really bring about you know bring your spell more into reality because you're creating outside objects to connect with your inner you know desires and wants so you can really physically see it feel it hear it and know it to be um, able to happen through the desired result okay so I'll see you guys next time and blessed be